I'm going to give you a little history lesson. OK? I'm going to take you back. Actually, first, here's a question. How big... Show me how, how big do you think an otter is? Oh, a standard size otter. Yeah. Well, they're surprisingly big, actually, otters. Are they? But they're, I would say, uh, body or uh, with tail? Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, body, body, body. Just give an idea, because the tails can be... The body is just... It was, uh, yeah, body is this, I would say, this size. Weight, Foot roughly? And a half up to two, up to two, two feet, I would say. Weight, roughly? Two feet? Weight, roughly? Don't, I don't know the weight. OK, here's an otter I'm going to introduce you to, called the giant Omo, a 31-stone otter, 200 kilo, uh, kilos, um, 20 times the size of the Eurasian otter, which is found in Britain today. Um, it was found, the remains of which have been found in um, an Ethiopian valley. When was it uh, roaming the earth? It was roaming the earth some two and a half to three and a half million years ago. OK? And um, they weren't quite aquatic, scientists believe. They probably preferred to hunt game out in the, o in the open. Um, its teeth, this is the thing, the teeth were, like, massive as well, but not like modern otters. And is that what it, it says in the scientific yes, report, it its does. teeth were, like, massive? Well, it's actually talking about its massive size. It's saying the peculiar thing, in addition to its massive size, as written here, in quotes, is that, in its t in, is that isotopes in its teeth suggest it was not aquatic, like all modern otters. It ate terrestrial animals, also differing from modern otters. It wasn't clear if the creatures, which were just less than five foot tall at the time, five foot tall otter, wow. ate humans. Wasn't quite clear. I'm very, was fond, a big of, otter. very fond of the otter, but uh, uh, an otter that size is the stuff of nightmares, really, isn't yes. it? Yes. Just thought I'd put that image in your head this morning.